Hello and welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my channel. Where I talk about all kinds of things that help you to create your own edible fruit forest or edible situation even if you're in a smaller location, colder climate. Looking up the old papaya tree, I'm out here with Jack and we are going to spruce up our potted plant that we have by our surf shower, our post beach shower. All right, and I thought we would do that with something that always adds. Hey, squids, first on, thank you. I think we'll add color with these crotons. Why not? They're plentiful. I don't think I want to take it from this croton that's right out in front because I love the look of that so much, don't you? You ready with those clippers? Okay, let's let's go back into the the, the snaky uh, back. All right. That's what happens when you go into the here. Um, yeah, like snip off. A couple of them down there. See those down there on the bottom? Yeah, like just snip it way back and we can trim off the excess. Like right there. Yeah, let's sniff it off. There you go. What'd you get? Hmm, that's a healthy one. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll produce two cuttings. See? Alright, let's get a couple more. Yeah, yeah, I got one of those. Yeah, yeah like right here, see, because then you still leave this little, you still leave this little grower, just cut right there. Yeah. Okay, squids, I'll, I'll get a papaya trunk in the shot here shortly. We got a couple nice cuttings, evening cuttings. All right, look at this one. This one's weird. It's like this one's got real straight leaves, but this one's got all the curly leaves. Okay, that's three. Oh, yeah. Three's not enough. I want to get a little more. Let's get this one, too. See this one down here? Yeah, that's a, he's a goner. Yeah, right there. I want to really jam this to show folks, show everybody on the stream, and those who watch it later, what you can do. Hmm, let's just get this one right here. Yeah, give it a, yeah, a little farther out. Yeah, yeah that's good. Down she goes. All right, so what does that give us? That's five. That's four. Four is good. Okay. We'll go with four. Hike out of the, out of the zone. Giant lily. Here you go. You know what that is? You know what that is. And there's another one. All right, put it on this table. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what, why don't you cut it right here? Yeah, just real, real close in there. Yeah, close to this trunk as you can. Yeah, right there. Good. There go hard. There you go. And then this one, cut it right about there. Right about there. Yeah. Croton. Look at that leaf. Championship level leaf. They grow all crazy. It's a long, crazy, long leaf. Alright, we got this one. We got this one. We're not going to take off any of the leaves. I think these are probably good as is. Alright, let's go. Let's go and just use this last little nub as, as a... Oh, we got that one too. How many do we have? Oh, we have five. Sweet. Okay, come on. Let's go. Maybe if we keep uh, keep the energy level going, I will uh, pick a papaya and see if I can get some seeds to plant. I've been wanting to do that. And there's a nice ripe one I spotted after I did the live stream this afternoon. There it is. Everything's growing. Woo. Alright, so here it is, beach shower, very complicated system attached to the hose, but this gets watered a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's uh, go ahead, here, we can, uh, yeah, 
Okay, go with one of those first. Yeah, one of the straight ones. Okay, good. All right. Oops, what happened? One fell out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's just jam them in there. Yeah, down farther, I think. I think we can go down as far as she can. That's pretty good. Now, I have a theory that all of these will grow. You want to put them? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Jam it down as far as you can. That's good. That looks good. Jam it down as far as it'll go. Okay. See, in just a little time, you're already sprucing that up. It's great. Oh, that's the big leaf. Here we go, one more. Where does the lucky one go? Oh, and we planted a... This cutting right here is a dwarf variegated Chevalera that I planted. What do you think? Put one right here. There you go. There you go. In no time at all. We have a nice upgrade. Three cuttings. Now this is a variety of cuttings that I know is going to do really well. And I'll tell you how I know that. I just recently experimented with it. If you look here, that's... That's a potted plant that I grew in the... Hey, Roblox Squad. Not yet. Christmas tree's not up yet. Yeah, so it, it just grows very easily. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick stream, show an upgrade that we were doing. Uh, I'm gonna point out one more thing that I'm doing, which is I'm growing this mulberry tree sideways. We planted this in earlier. Actually, I think I made a video that I'm gonna release that shows this, but I'm going to bend this mulberry tree that I planted down like this so that all of the all of the shoots will grow straight up and I'm going to keep this tied down so it's going to be an interesting application of this. I'll probably make a video of doing that, but that's one way to get maximum fruit growth out of one small mulberry tree is you just basically make it grow this way and then have all the shoots grow up straight and you maximize the amount of spots where fruit can grow. That's what I'm going to do is trellis it against this fence in that way. It's a pretty, pretty interesting, I think. This was grown from a cutting and looking pretty darn good. If we look at how the mulberry cuttings from the live stream I did a month ago are coming, the Persian mulberries are absolutely crazy huge. Even have fruit on it. Look back on that fruit, yeah. Have fruit, I'll pull it out. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, they're they're not a uh, not that big yet, but there's fruit. I couldn't believe it. The cutting sprouted fruit. <laughs> yep. Okay. So a bunch of what you got growing on videos coming out to uh, show all of those things that were added and give updates on everything that's growing. Hope you're having a great Friday. Have a good night.